So continuing from the previous video where we uh, laid out the framework of our uh, conference room table, we'll now go and actually create um, the tabletop extrusion uh, for this conference table. So we'll go to solid extrusion and we'll just kind of draw some um, some shapes in here that represent it. Um, first dump I'm going to come off of here about, uh, I don't know, let's say one foot uh, six. And I'm going to stretch this down totally to be three foot total. Alrighty. And then let's uh, draw a line out here. Let's see, like that. Maybe another one somewhere out here. And let's take this one and mirror it about our center point. Now, I want you to notice that um, I didn't draw these actually on the reference planes that I've set up. And the reason being is that once we get our initial um, skeleton of the tabletop laid out, then we'll actually constrain these to the reference plane. So let's go in here and maybe draw um, uh, maybe an arc in here um, to represent the edge of the table, say from point A to point B, something like that. Let's flip this one over from the mirrored point to there. All right, let's move this up to there. So we've got that there. Now let's go ahead and take these here and mirror these about the midpoint there. So now we should have a good uh, framework to kind of start our, um, our conference table from. So we'll go ahead and finish extrusion. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, confine these to the reference point. So we're going to go to modify, do an alignment. And we're going to align this to this reference plane, lock that down. Align this one to this reference plane, lock that down. This one here, lock it down. And finally, this one here, lock that down. So the next step to do is to flex our family and make sure things still work. So let's go to the types. Let's change our width to be, let's say, 16 foot. Say apply. We notice that our conference room table is adjusted. Let's try the depth now, let's say, 3 foot 6. Apply. Oh, we got a problem there, so let's see. size of our conference room table the, the corners here so I think we're okay there so we see that our family's flexing on right there so we'll go ahead and undo and bring it back to the original shape of 18 foot by 4 foot 8 so the next step will be to actually control the thickness of the table so to do that we'll go to a front view and we'll see that uh, the extrusion is taken the default one foot which is pretty typical for Revit so let's create two more reference planes here. Let's create one up here, see in this general area. Let's name this reference plane and call it Tabletop Height. All right. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's move this thing. Um, let's get this off of this reference plane. I don't want it to be connected to that reference level there. So let's create another reference plane here maybe somewhere in this general area. Alright, so let's throw in some dimensions here. Let's do an align dimension from here to this dimension there. Let's add a parameter. Let's call this table top height. Okay. Alright, and then let's apply another parameter here. This one table top thickness. Alright. Notice that I'm putting these under dimensions and making them in pipe parameters. 
All right, so let's try and flex our parameters there. Tabletop thickness, let's make this an inch and a half. Apply, we see that that's adjusted. Let's set our, um, oops, I just noticed that I need to modify this one to be under the dimensions grouping. Once I got that correct, now it's up here. Let's make our tabletop height to be something more reasonable, let's say around three foot six. And we see that that adjusted as well. So now the only thing we need to do next is actually constrain our tabletop to those dimensions. So let's go modify, align, let's align that there, lock it down, align that there, lock that down, and then let's adjust this one more time. Let's make this four foot. Oops. Apply. We see that the tabletop has uh, adjusted height. And let's make this two inches. And we see that that adjusted as well. So in the next video, what we'll do is we'll actually start building some legs to our tabletop here and uh, applying some parameters to uh, control those as well.